Coming up on today's show, the men's and women's basketball teams hit the road as conference play winds down, and the baseball team and the women's lacrosse team opened up their seasons with some fireworks. The women's basketball team has caught fire in the second half of ECC play, winning five straight, but they put that streak on the line against St. Thomas Aquinas over the weekend. The Spartans edged out the Bears by three points in the first meeting, so you know the Bears wanted to get that one back, and Meg Nolmeyer was lights out in this one. She had 16 of her 22 points in the first half, and she didn't miss a shot until the fourth quarter. However, the Spartans came back late in the game and they had a chance to tie it. But on the inbound, the ball goes off of Ruth Adams to seal the win for the Bears. The winning streak extends to six games. Here are the updated standings. Damon and Stack would get a first round bye, while the three and four seeds host a first round tournament game. The Bears are on the verge of clinching home court with just two games left. Now for men's basketball, Jeffrey Hayden was coming off a season high 30 point performance and he picked up right where he left off. 22 points and seven rebounds for the fifth year senior. But Osbel Caraballo took over in this one, finishing with 25 points on 11 of 13 from the field. The Spartans get the win, which makes it a tough road to the playoffs for Tech. The Bears are just a half game behind Queens for the final playoff spot with home games against Roberts Wesleyan and Damon this weekend. The baseball team opened up their season down in Myrtle Beach with five games in a three-day stretch. Tech playing Wilmington, who's the number three team in the region. But don't tell that to EJ Exposito. The freshman cranks his first career homer, but he wasn't done. In his next at-bat, he goes yard again to put Tech up 8-1. to one. If you didn't know about him before, now you know. Bears go 4-1 in the opening weekend as Tech moved up to 8th in the national poll. And the women's lacrosse team opened up the season at home against Chestnut Hill, and the Bears ran away with this one early on. Shannon Donovan scored four goals in the first half. Jacqueline Grizzalazic, Chloe Herzog, and Caitlin Costello all finished with hat tricks in a 19-3 rout of Chestnut Hill. Both basketball teams wrap up their regular seasons this weekend, while the baseball team hosts 21st-ranked Southern New Hampshire in a rematch of last year's Super Regional. We'll have the highlights for you next week. The final buzzer is a Globesville production produced in the studios at New York Tech.